All right, so this is my review of MX Linux 21.1 Wildflower, and uh, I'm trying all three flavors, uh, XFCE, KDE, and Fluxbox. Um, this one is Fluxbox. I've ended on the Fluxbox. Uh, one of the great things about MX Linux is that it has a snapshot feature in, in all three versions. So you can get your system up and running and tweak it however you want it and then make a snapshot of it, which turns it into an ISO file. And then you can use the MX uh, Live USB creator tool and create a live uh, thumb drive of the snapshot, which I did with the... Uh, KDE and the uh, default XFCE versions and so I'm going to try those out and see if those work and if they do I'll do videos on those two as well uh, but I thought I'd, I'd go through all three versions and see which one I like the best because I honestly love them all um, and uh, I think I'm kind of leaning towards the default XFCE version just because the tools and things seem a little bit more tightly integrated, uh, but all three versions are great, and it, it's just like a you know sliver of light between between each one. Um, so yeah, this is Fluxbox, and I I love Fluxbox. I used Fluxbox back in the damn small Linux days, and it's definitely gotten um, better and uh, more more features, and uh, with the the MX uh, Linux version, they, they've added a little toolbar on the bottom and a little sidebar, which is kind of cool. Um, and I've actually got uh, one of the other great tools uh, that I've been using with these is the KDE Connect, which lets you connect your phone directly to the computer. And I actually got that working here with the Fluxbox version. I just went to Synaptic and installed it from there. Um, and it seems to be working great. Um, so far you can use your phone as a mouse, you can transfer files, get notifications on your computer, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, so I'll just show you um, a few of the tools that I already installed. One of the cool things I was able to do was install a little shortcut um, over here on the sidebar. I installed uh, the Vivaldi shortcut for the uh, Vivaldi browser, which is a pretty cool browser. and. Um, Got that working, which is awesome. Uh, that's kind of one of the drawbacks to Fluxbox is installing just icons on the desktop can be pretty difficult. <laughs> um, you have to know the uh, the commands and stuff like that. And I could probably figure it out if I worked at it for, you know, like an hour maybe. Um, but I don't feel like doing that. So that's kind of one of the drawbacks to Fluxbox. But everything else in Fluxbox is great. Um, you got the, the left click menu. Um, you, you even have a little start menu down here from the MX folks, which is pretty cool. Um, and this gives you all the, the, the apps that you have and such. Um, so let's go to tools and we'll check out what I've done so far. Uh, where is it? Package installer. So they have their own little package installer that is a little bit more focused than like Synaptic. Um, and it has, you know, it just focuses on a few a few of the apps instead of on everything, which Synaptic and Muon do. Um, and can be kind of overwhelming sometimes. Um, <coughs> but anyways, so what I did was, like I said, I installed the Vivaldi. Uh, I didn't do anything with that. Let's see, didn't do anything with that. I think I installed Cairo. Yeah, I did install Cairo. I haven't tried it out yet on Fluxbox, but I figured I'd give it a try. I did not install any file managers. I installed FileZilla for FTP. I did install the uh, all the new icons. I figured I might be using those themes, so I installed all those. Didn't mess with the kernels or language, media center. Uh, messaging. One of the cool things is they they have Microsoft Teams in here, which is a great. Uh, I wouldn't say great, but it's it's great for me because I use it at work, so I can actually use MS Teams for work um, on my Linux box, which is kind of nice. Um, oh yeah, Zoom. I d definitely want to install Zoom, um, and that's a uh, that's one of the cool things about um, the MX Linux 
in general, I think, is that they, you know, they have they they focused in on on a few of the great apps that people use a lot and included those in the package installer, um, which is pretty nice. And um, so yeah, so let's also what I was going to do. One of the other cool things is Conky. They have a nice Conky manager. Um, so let's check that out. And we can start tweaking stuff here. Um, I don't remember. I think it's maybe that's in a different place. Let me see. Yeah. Where is that conky? Maybe it's in tweak. Uh. So another weird thing about Fluxbox, maybe not weird, but another thing about Fluxbox is you have to double click on the icons and on the KDE and the XFC, you just single click. So that takes a little bit of getting used to, but not a huge deal. Um, and no, this is not what I want. Damn it. Let's see. System. No, no, no. Where the hell is Conky? They have a Conky manager, which is nice and it has all the different themes that you can use. So let's see, it is in the MX tools, I believe. Yeah. Well, let's see. No. Yes. Okay, here we go. All right, so, oh, we're not going to do that. Where is it? Edit, that's it. No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, we don't want, oh, Conky Manager, there it is. I don't know, I couldn't find it in the, uh, in the list there. But anyways, we'll go to Conky Manager, and we can change the look of the Conky, then we can change the desktop, and get it kind of how I want it maybe I'll mess around with the theme too and see if that works um, but overall this is a great this is just I love I love MX Linux and I've been using Linux since back you know Red Hat and Mandrake and Suzy Linux and all that stuff back in the day um, and it's definitely gotten a lot better and more responsive and uh, so one of the interesting things, too, I, I've noticed, because since I've used all three systems, the KDE, XFCE, and Fluxbox here, um, it seems like uh, when everything is off, that the KDE version is actually the lowest memory load. I think it's around 6 or 7%, um, which is even, you know, it's lower than Fluxbox, which I thought, I think Fluxbox, we'll check it out in a minute, but I think Fluxbox was around 9 or 10%. Um, with everything else turned off and uh, the XFCE was right around there too so just kind of interesting because usually KDE has a reputation of being more memory intensive but it actually isn't in this in this case so uh, let's see that's the current one which one did I want to use I wanted to use I found a pretty cool one that works with my uh, choice of backgrounds Let's see if I can find it here um, no maybe it was up let's see so they show you they have a preview down here which is nice it wasn't that wasn't that wasn't that no I th oh there it is Geeky Tower logo. Yeah, that sounds like me. There. So we're going to go with that one. And now we're going to try and change the uh, the background. Let's see how that works out here. Um, I think that is either appearance. No, it doesn't look like it's in here. So let's go here. appearance wallpaper 
select. Okay, cool. And I downloaded all the wallpapers from uh, previous versions of MX Linux just because I have one in here that I really like, that I like to use. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Yeah. Apply it, yes. All right, there we go. So that's pretty cool. I like that look. Um, and maybe we could check out the themes and see if we can change the themes. But that looks really good. The icons look cool. Conky looks cool. Uh, I want to make the font a little bit bigger, though. Let's see. Uh, MX Tools. Um, darn it, where did it go? MX Tools, I think it was. Yeah, okay, Conky. I'm going to go to Edit, and I just want to make the font a little bit bigger. Let's see, where was the font? There it is. And turn that to 8. And we'll save it. No. What happened? That's not right. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> Conky's definitely a little funny. Um, but that looks a little bit better. Okay. We'll leave that like that for now. And um, what else did I want to show you? Uh, oh, yeah. We'll do themes. Let's see if we can change a the theme. Uh, theme. Okay. Yeah, we can. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, arc, dark, arc lighter. Oh, that's too light. N no. That works pretty good. Yeah, they definitely have a lot more themes. Um, in the other two versions, the fluc uh, the uh, KDE and the uh, XFCE versions. But this is pretty cool. This isn't too bad. Um, looks nice and uh, performs nice. So with the RAM right now, let's see, that's with Vivaldi running. Let's turn Vivaldi off. Oh, we got the controls there for my screencast, so we can't turn that off. Um, but so with one app running, it's at 13... 13 megs of RAM or 13 percent of RAM which isn't too bad um, so yeah so great Linux I really like it um, and stay tuned for my other two uh, reviews hopefully <laughs>